The important thing for what we've been doing over the Chernobyl Red Forest is that we've been sending them in and they're flying autonomously. So they're clever enough to fly on their own and to, to collision avoid if necessary. And what we're using them for is for mapping the distribution of radioactivity and to form a 3D model of the terrain so that we can understand where the radioactivity is highest and also those areas which would be safe for people to visit as tourists or to be converted into solar farms. We can scan very, very fast. So if we had a nuclear incident today somewhere in Europe, we'd be able to deploy this technology immediately and it would give us a really rapid situational awareness of how much danger there was and where it actually lay. And that would protect your first responders such that when you do send them in, they know the hazard they're going into. It's not unknown and they know specifically which areas to avoid. It comes from within two metres of me. So if I want to get 100% Nowadays, with the, the technology coming out of our research labs, a human could supervise the robot at a higher level. So, for instance, mouse clicking on an object and saying, AI, please, can you pick that up for me? Um, and AI plans all of the motions uh, instead of the human having to directly control the robot's joints. Partly we need robots to solve the high level waste that's too radioactive for humans to ever deal with, but also we would like to remove those human workers from, from those hostile environments.